The New England Patriots at Foxborough at home, Gillette Stadium, hosting the Buffalo Bills, who they beat just a few weeks ago at Buffalo. And you got a situation where the winner is in first place in the division, and especially for New England. If they win, they got a two-game lead with two games to go. The division will be a wrap. For Buffalo, you win the you win this game, you're tied with New England, and you have the tiebreaker, so you'll be in first place. And um, let's just say Matt Jones once again got exposed. If he doesn't have the run game, if the defense isn't perfect, if Belichick doesn't have the perfect game plan, it absolutely falls apart. That's three straight weeks now where he's not looked good. I told you, when the media and everybody, Patriots Nation, is starting to fall in love with Mac Jones, he's the next Tom Brady. Oh, I've heard that for weeks. Heck, I've heard that before he played a single snap in the NFL. I told you it's nonsense for a multitude of reasons. Matt cannot move around. But Tom Brady couldn't. It was a different league back then. And Tom Brady, as I always say, the great outlier. Don't compare any quarterback to Tom because you're going to lose every time. And something else on Mac Jones that I said, let these defensive coordinators get film on him. Then we'll see how good he is. And um, they got film. And a few games ago against Buffalo, the first meeting, he threw uh, three, three, three passes. Matter of fact, he shouldn't have even thrown one of them because he audible out of a play. So Belichick trusts Mac Jones so much that he threw three passes. And then a couple weeks later, off a bye, he was bad against the Indianapolis Colts. Against a Carson Wentz who threw for 58 yards. Mac Jones still lost the game. And then yesterday, in the Patriots' biggest game, probably since Tom's last game, that wild card matchup when they lost to Tennessee and what ended up being Tom Brady's last game as a Patriot, biggest game of the year for the Patriots. You win this game, the division is virtually over. You will be guaranteed a home playoff game. Two weeks ago, the Patriots were the number one seed in the AFC. Two weeks later, they're the sixth seed. When you look around all eight divisions in the NFL, what do they all have in common except for one? They have a special quarterback. Not, not a good quarterback. Not even a great, a special quarterback leading the show. You look at the NFC North, Aaron Rodgers, come on. He, he's the greatest quarterback talent we've ever seen. NFC South, Tom Brady, GOAT. NFC East, Dak, multiple division titles, outstanding quarterback. NFC West, Matt Stafford, yes, he didn't play well yesterday. But I saw those games against the Cardinals and the Seahawks in the fourth quarter last week. Like, Matt Stafford wins big games when you give him the support he needs which Detroit didn't for 12 years. Look at the AFC. Mahomes, unbelievable MVP. You look at the AFC North. Joe Burrow, threw for 500 yards yesterday. You look at the AFC, uh, uh, what am I looking at? The AFC North, South. Uh, yeah, AFC South. Ryan Tannehill, not special, but good, right? He's good. He's, he's won playoff games. He's won playoff games in the NFL. And then finally, in the AFC East, it's Josh Allen, who is special. Rocket arm, wildly athletic. His accuracy has improved year after year after year. Special quarterbacks win divisions and ultimately championships. Not guys throwing three passes and not guys who in the biggest game of the season against the Buffalo Bills, 14 for 32, 145 yards, zero touchdowns, two interceptions, a QBR of 39, a passer rating of 31. But that's the guy who's going to be the next Tom Brady, is what I've heard. Mac ain't it. It's a little different when receivers aren't running 20 yards open down the field at Alabama, isn't it? 
The Patriots are going to make the playoffs. They, they are. Belichick is arguably the coach of the year. Matter of fact, I still think he's the front runner for that particular award. Their defense, though in a slump, I think they'll get it back together. I think. But once you get to the postseason, you play special quarterbacks. And Mac Jones does not fare very well against special quarterbacks. And that's what's going to get the Patriots beat when it's all said and done. Yes, this has been a successful season for New England. Probably not going to win the division now, in large part due to your quarterback. But you're going to get in the playoffs. And you're going to lose to either Cincinnati, which is crazy to say Cincinnati's probably going to win a playoff game at this point, the way they're clicking offensively. You might lose to Tennessee once they get Derrick Henry back. Like, it's okay, Patriots Nation. You had your time. You won six championships over the course of two decades, led by the greatest player in NFL history. It's over. You'll get to some playoffs with Mac. You will. So long as you got the, the, the supporting cast. They run the football well. I mean, heck, Mac Jones got basically 150 yards rushing yesterday. That game was on a silver platter. And Josh Allen said, thank you very much. And Mac Jones said, I don't want no part of this. I've tried to tell people, this is not a special quarterback. This is a backup. He's a backup. Heck, I said I even said in the draft, I liked Davis Mills better than Mac Jones. How did Davis Mills look yesterday? Against the Chargers, albeit missing some starters. Um, He looks pretty darn good to me. Not saying Davis Mills is special, but he's better than Mac Jones. It's kind of a joke at this point. He's not a special quarterback. He's not a special player. Under Bill Belichick? Sure, he'll get to the playoffs. But that's about it. He's not winning any playoff games. And that's the fate of the New England Patriots. You get out to a lead, he's in the game manager role every single Sunday. Sure, sure, you can win some games. We saw that during their, whatever it was, seven-game winning streak. But you put him in tight windows. You say, well, he's a rookie. Yeah, so was Justin Herbert last year and Joe Burrow last year and a year before that, Kyla Murray. And the year before that, Lamar Jackson and, heck, even Baker Mayfield. And the year before that, Deshaun Watson. You can tell pretty quickly if a guy works or not. You can tell after about five, six, seven starts, once coordinators get film on these guys, like, yeah, he's the guy. They, they found him. The Patriots have not found their guy. Mac is a backup. It's that simple. 